978 Dance. We are live at Tomorrowland in Belgium, and with us right now in the studio, it's Net Sky. Hey. Woo! Hey. How's it going, guys? How you doing, mate? We are. Uh, well, let's start off with saying we absolutely loved the stage yesterday. Oh, it was the yeah. lineup was pure fire. We had Holy Goof and Jaws in here. Wicked. I've been following your music for a while. I used to be a drum bass MC, so I was kind of looking at everything. We walked up and Mr. Happy was playing. Oh, right. We're like, right, that's it. I'm saying, amazing. The vibe was great. Yeah. Cool, man. I really liked it this year. It was um, it's the first time we did it at this this uh, stage. I yeah. used to do it at the, the Dragon stage. Like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this was amazing. And you know, like the the fountains in the back combined with fireworks and fire is just incredible like um visual experience i think it's really cool yeah it looks nah, amazing. amazing i mean we it worked out perfectly for us because we were here most of the day and then sure. when we got time we left and then your just set was on we're like yes just follow the, BPM, oh. follow the bpm follow the bpm yeah, yeah <laughs> but that, that stage is incredible that sounded like an mc line already yeah yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. but Sample. on the stage it looked incredible it sounded incredible well, oh thanks so. man you know it's really good cool. so were you there all day did you get a chance to catch anyone else i know sometimes it's a bit of a whirlwind but did, did you see every other guy uh not not everybody but yeah. we uh we came straight from estonia straight from the stage in estonia oh, straight wow. to the airport and we tried to make it in time but uh, we, we got like a an hour of shut eye before so like we, we slept for a little bit and then we, we arrived around like two three ish four ish three ish so we saw like the most important stuff that i really want to see i mean they were all, all really important but i, I really want to see a track and young tuck and yes um aro was really cool as well um you know and jules like they had to close the stage it was like yeah it's too busy it was a vibe look we, we obviously have the screens in the middle of the media village right. and we're watching it and i have all of the stages it always looked like it was going off oh. the intensity of the stage was off the charts i mean oh, yeah. obviously the genre gets people kind of going so sure. there's a lot of sore necks i think this morning when people woke up <laughs> they looked absolutely amazing no and yeah, it was a I collection agree. of music which right. which kind of sums up in terms of genre and vibe like obviously bass is a is a common thread yeah but there's a lot of different genres that you move in and out of over the years right but drum bass hospital everything was that was the heart of it right but then moving forward there's yeah. all there's all sorts of stuff going on the new music is quite there's a there's a, like a dubstep beat but with a kind of big synthy lead on it right, Did, right. It, is are you uh, drum and bass by heart but what's the decision to kind of do different music and um, you know, actually, today I'm playing a secret set with, uh, and I, 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 like, I haven't done this in years, but I'm playing like a liquid drum bass set with only stuff from like ten Amazing. years ago. And like, I, I gotta say, like, I, I enjoyed so much like preparing for it and just like yeah. listen. It, it felt like it was, it was like my sixty year old self again, like going to a record store and like really like selecting the music that I started with. Uh, so that being said, I really still love that stuff. But um, yeah, with the singles I make, you know, like I um I. I really made some like big decisions for myself last year and like really wanted to like uh, kind of spend some time on songwriting and like yeah. learning how to produce a bit more pop music because I'm I've always been interested in that and um, I, I got an amazing opportunity in, in LA to live there for a little while and, wow. and, and work with, um, with two of the, the best producers in the world uh, called Stargate. Um, oh yes, wow, um, okay. And, and they, they taught me and got me in contact with so many amazing artists so like it was like an opportunity I was kind of like looking for and, and finally I had something like that. and. Um, yeah, it just made me realize how much I love like making a good pop song as well, yeah. not just dance music. So, so the bands, there. sorry, man. is there is there stuff uh, that's finished, ready to go with this? You know, from this project, the Stargate. Have you got some stuff ready to go? Or yeah, is this, yeah. Have we got like a release schedule planned, and you know, yeah. when can we expect the? <laughs> yeah. these right. new, I don't know if I can say it. But <laughs> yeah, we've got something coming out on Friday. Oh, oh really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool, this man. Friday, um, a song with Alu Black, um, and he's he's rapping. Oh. Uh, he's rapping. He's rapping. Uh, I can imagine that. Right. Yeah. He's got, he's yeah. Got a a bit, a, yeah. Yeah. There's kind of an Idris Elba gruff in there that could come through quite nicely. One hundred percent. That's that's actually what it is. And um, yeah, that's one of the songs we worked on. We released like an instrumental EP like a little while ago. It wasn't yeah. like anything yeah. for radio, but like that's uh, that's stuff we did together. But um, yeah, most of the songs I've got a, a, an album project in the works. I don't know that, when that, when that's going to come out. But it's called Palm Trees and Power Lines. Nice. A lot of information here. Yeah. But, uh, no, no, that's good, man. Oh, I can tell where it was inspired by. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it was basically the last silhouette that I saw out of the studio room when I was working with them. Every night Sick. we saw, like, we were in, in Venice in LA. And um, the last thing I saw was just silhouettes of palm trees and, and power lines. And Amazing. I really liked the, the imbalance between us two and, like, kind of using that for a pop side and an electronic kind of project. Like, having, like, a two CD uh, album yeah. on Spotify. <laughs> and, and working with legends like that, there must be so, I mean, we never stop learning when we're producing, right? But there must be so much that, that either little quick fixes that make yeah. it, or, or a way of approaching it that just relaxes people. What was oh. the kind of greatest experience about working with them? Yeah, uh, yeah, you're, you're hitting the, like, it's, it's exactly what you said. Like it's, um, it's little kind of 
changes and arra arra arrangement was yeah. like uh, because I got so much experience with that and they've literally like known songs that they produce that I see like this works and this doesn't like yeah. Yeah. they've seen it firsthand um, and most of all I think is the way they treat people when I come into the studio and yeah how they told me like the atmosphere you, man yeah yeah if you don't um, if you don't manage to like get that like that connection established at first before you start working where everybody's comfortable in a room don't even start yeah. producing just yeah. like just talk for like six hours if, if that's what it takes yeah 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 exactly it's, it's really yeah. interesting to look at the thing to look at it is right. the vibe is everything the vibe is 100 percent. Yeah. yeah you did a track with bazzy and lil wayne as well which we supported on the show quite Thank a bit you. and that was a that was a different kind of track so that was a that was rap as well right what was that were you were you with the guys what was the experience like working with them and getting or getting the music from them and the vocals yeah you know like i mean it's, it's been a dream of mine since i was like a 15 year old kid to work with lil wayne so for, for me that was like uh, yeah. a big a big thing um you know working with like massive artists brings like uh, it's fair share of like uh, hard work and like hard to like get people in the same room yeah, but, yeah um, of course um you know I, I mean it was just because everybody in my team and, and i was in la that we, we met the right people and and bazi was um and is like one of the, the hottest like rising pop stars in america right now so yeah. um and i love his music i love his songwriting yeah, so. it's great yeah it's great well, i'm not even your question here but it, but it, it was no 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 no, 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 no it's it fine it no, no. sounds like the vibe was good on the day anyway because the track right. sounds good so right yeah, right thanks <laughs> yeah we're going to keep supporting what we love about you is that you know you're belgian and you've you've got tomorrowland you know on your front doorstep but it feels like you're bringing the world of music that you like and admire into the mix as well with the stage last night right. what you're trying to do you know lots of people will look at tomorrowland and feel it's inaccessible i'm, I'm not in the right place at the right time right. and it's just nice to see someone like yourself which is set in stone what you're doing and has got that reputation but also represents the music you love and gives people the chance to have a slice of the experience that you've had over the years so wow big respect man that's that's that sounded like i rehearsed that but i just <laughs> i just i literally just man i'm gonna yeah. shake your hand for that that's a really nice compliment i appreciate that it. it's very nice no it's really good man Thank look you. um it's been an absolute pleasure 978 dance with net sky Woo! Woo! thanks for coming thanks so much guys